All right, all right, it, in it installed. You're gonna wanna take a look at this. Uh, this is super sick. I'm gonna show you how to do it this week. So just be on the lookout, check that out, right? No Cocoa Pods, pure code, okay? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, what I'm gonna talk to you about in this video, it's not a tutorial. I'm just gonna talk to you about a few videos I'm planning on making this week and a resource for you to learn iOS development and have a bunch of, make a bunch of friends and uh, basically just take more part in the community, the iOS development community, so that we can have a better time, right? Like uh, what I found really fulfilling about coding is that there's so many people online that do it as well, right? Obviously we're all on the internet. And uh, I thought that I would create a Slack channel for iOS developers specifically on my channel so that we could all join it and really kind of connect and talk more, okay? And in this channel, you are going to be able to learn from other iOS developers, this uh, Slack team, right? And the link's down in the description, completely free if you wanna join it. As you can see, Neil here, he sent an app he was working on the other day, and we talked about the technologies he used down below. Basically, he used Open Weather API and a few other things. So. I think it's really um, just a good opportunity to join this Slack channel to meet other people, okay? Now, an example is of me doing this with people online isn't in a channel like this or a team, but it's like on YouTube, okay? I was on YouTube and I found Brian over at Let's Build That App, right? And I kind of formed a relationship with him, a friendship over the past couple years uh, uh, through watching his content and just kind of talking to him and stuff in the comments and all that, right? And that's exactly what all of you can do here in the Slack channel, okay? I'm gonna go be on his YouTube channel this summer in San Francisco, okay, in California. And that is huge to me, right? That's a big um, opportunity, right? He has like 150,000 subs. And I, like, I'm not just, I'm not kidding either. Like, I'm not just saying this to get you to go in the Slack channel, but like, it's how it's done. Like if you want to meet people in the iOS community online and potentially do projects with them or find clients through them or do anything with them, you're going to be able to form a relationship with them through this Slack channel and through YouTube and through Instagram, through the internet, right? So this is a resource that I've put together for you a couple days ago. I just created this Slack channel a couple days ago. So I, um, so I wanted to throw it on YouTube and just let you all know that it's here if you wanna join it, okay? Now, I'm also going to talk a, a little bit more about um, the videos I'm gonna be doing this week, okay? So one of the main things I wanna do this week is show you, not that, I wanna show you how to do, I don't think I have it installed on the simulator actually, cause I just upgraded to Swift 5. Dang it, I really wish I had it here. I'm gonna install it, I'll be right back. All right, all right, it, in it installed. You're gonna to wanna to take a look at this, uh, this is super sick. I'm gonna show you how to do it this week. So just be on the lookout. Check that out, right? No Cocoa Pods, pure code, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do this. You'd use this for like a menu refresh or something. I think Snapchat has something similar to this. That's what it reminds me of most. But super cool stuff. I'm gonna show you how to do it this week. And uh, it's super cool, okay? You can see the code here, obviously. And another thing is, other than that, like there's gonna be a few other things this week that I'll show you how to do, but um, I won't talk about it too much because obviously you'll just watch it when I come out with it. But um, I'm gonna open up this app and show you a little code base. You'll see all this code right here. This is code to my newest course, the iOS Notes app course, teaching core data specifically, okay? You'll see that there's a couple entities in here. It's This isn't the completed version. There's a couple entities and I show you how to do relationships and I show you how to write a core data manager file where we modify our core data and then inject it directly into table views and stuff, okay? And the completed app or the somewhat completed app, this isn't the completed one, you'll see is right here, okay? And there's a lot of cool features that you see in other apps, right? Insertion, deletion, and uh, you can also see there's a search feature, okay? So you can search um, for specific things. So if I search max codes, it should show up those two max codes ones, right? And uh, 
notes should show those two notes one right you also see there's dates so you can update the dates stuff like that okay so it makes the count it shows the count on the side just a ton of stuff i don't want to explain it too much if you're interested in that check out the link to the course in the description i'll label it something like new course core data right you can check that out but yeah that's really it for this video i just want to let you guys know a few updates and some general announcements i'll probably be doing this every friday maybe every saturday uh it's just gonna be once a week or something, and then I'll probably start doing live streams. Let me know if you wanna see that. But either way, that's it, and uh, I'll see you guys in either the course that release, that's comes out on Tuesday, or I will see you guys in the video where we do this, okay? All right, I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.